happy Thanksgiving or late Thanksgiving if this isn't released on Thanksgiving, which is possible, but Thanksgiving is all about being grateful, but it's also about all the food. And I'll be focusing on my favorite food theme levels in video games in this video. Food is a great theme to make a video game level based on, and when done well, it can make for a really memorable and cool level. There's a lot of ways to incorporate food into levels, and a lot of the times games like to use either dessert or sweets in their food themed levels, which makes sense since who doesn't love those? Like, plus they also look delicious and they're bright and colorful, so it makes sense. Anyways, let's get into the games. Starting off with my favorite Mario Kart game, and also one of my favorite games ever, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This game has several really good and memorable food themed levels. There's also been food courses in past games, but I'll just focus on two courses from 8 Deluxe here. Super Sweet Canyon. So this is a beautiful course. Like it reminds me a whole lot of the raceways in Wreck-It Ralph. Really good movie and then very nostalgic. There's so much chocolate and donuts and wafers here. Like it looks delicious. Can I eat this entire track, please? Man, it look it looks so good. The track's really fun to play as well too, and it has some good shortcuts like the one where you go through the donut. That's pretty fun if you get a mushroom. The music track here also great and fits the course quite well. It's a great course. Sky High Sunday. Yeah. I really like Sky High Sunday from the Booster Course Pass, even though it gets some hate online, it's a really good course, honestly. It has quite a similar theme to Super Sweet Canyon, but I'd say it's more ice cream themed rather than cookies and chocolate. Sure, the layout is pretty simple, it's kind of like an oval, but it's very fun to race on, especially drifting around the corners, trying not to fall off. I love all the ice cream trucks and stores on the side as well, with the Yoshis and the Shy Guys. I, I love like the decorative stuff in Mario Kart tracks. And I love the, the giant ice cream cone too that you go through. This course, it might be somewhat basic in its layout, but it makes up for it for the fun gameplay and great theming. Super Mario Odyssey. Next up is my favorite Mario game and one of my favorite games ever, Super Mario Odyssey. So, Luncheon Kingdom specifically is entirely themed around food and it's a really great world. Easily my favorite food theme level, even though it's a world, but it still counts, so. There's a giant pot cooking over the volcano, there's literal talking forks that you can also like transform into and fling yourself around, that's really fun, kind of crazy. There's a lot of turnips, like some of them you can throw into pots and get moons and stuff. There's cheese you can destroy by becoming a uh, hammer bro or whatever they're called, the ones that throw the pans. There's a slab of meat, there's deadly tomatoes that attack you, there's salt everywhere, there's lots of soup and more, like, it's just a really cool area. There's a lot of cool moons and sub areas within this world as well. The boss fight is awesome. The giant soup pot of soup is really creative and cool. You have to possess like the giant piece of meat to lure Cockatiel down so you can transform into a fire bubble and then dodge food and lava that spewed at you so you can pop her in the head several times and then boom defeat her. And the music in Peronza Plaza and throughout this level is really great as well. I mean Super Mario Odyssey in general has a great soundtrack. Next up is a specific Roblox game that is very nostalgic for me, Speedrun 4. So even now, after not really playing Roblox much anymore, I do sometimes still go back and replay this game again, partly because the music is super good. Most of the songs are by Boss Fight, and ooh, that, it's so, it's so good. Like, great electronic chiptune music. But the original has new music now because of copyright, I guess, which is unfortunate, but you know, that's just how copyright works. But there is a version that's the same, but with most of the original music back, which is really nice. Anyways, the food theme level I want to talk about is level 27. Lots, has lots of ice cream and chocolate and lollipops, and honestly, I think this is the hardest level in the game. It can be frustrating at times because there's a lot of precise jumps on small obstacles. The ice cream cones, especially, are really difficult to land on. But that's also why I like this level. Even after replaying this game many times, this level is still difficult. It's very fun, and also the song in this stage, Farbror Melker Fixar Fisk, Fisk Dam, probably pronounced that horribly because I think it's Swedish, but that song by Boss Fight is really great. Again, the whole soundtrack of, this, of Speedrun 4 is great. I got hooked on this song a few months ago after rediscovering from this game. Next up is Kirby's Dream of Fate. Literally, this entire game is themed around food. I can't just pick one level, so I'll just say the entire game. The game is similar to Fall Guys, but with fewer people. You go through levels with up to four people competing to eat as much as possible and get to the end as fast as possible. I don't really play anymore because I got bored with it after some time, but it was fun for some time when it came out. The art style and art design are really great here, as is usual for Kirby now. Forgotten Land also looked great, and Dreamland Deluxe did as well. The main gameplay is just the Gourmet R Grand Prix, which is two races, a minigame, and a battle royale. With the races, you collect strawberries 
and the strawberries that give the player more speed and more size and your goal is just to get to the end fast and get the biggest strawberry mountain. Then at the end there's a battle royale, you face each other off and you use your size and copy food abilities to try and knock each other off the stage, kind of like Smash Bros, I guess? I really question how Kirby doesn't literally explode after eating so much food, like probably if you touched him he would deflate by, like a balloon. I mean, the game designers probably don't think about that, but there's so much food in this game. I mean, the levels look great. They look delicious. Like, Kirby eats so much. How can he eat that much? Who knows? How does he not have diabetes? That's a real question. Game theory video on that when. And then finally, the last level I want to mention here in this video is Cookie Cogworks from Mario 3D World. I also love Super Mario 3D World. Well, I love all the games on this list pretty much, well, besides Kirby's Dream Buffet. But I like that one, but that's besides the point. So that shouldn't really be a surprise. So you can probably guess, yeah, there's a lot of cookies in this level, and the cog works in the title. This this describes the way the cookies work, like cogs in a machine. They spin around when you step on them, making it where you, you have to be careful platforming to not fall off or hit an enemy. I also really like how the bigger cookies have filling in between, so they look like ice cream cookies. Uh, that's about all I have to say for this level, honestly. The theming is really nice, and it's a really fun level to platform through. Those are just a few of my favorite food themed video game levels. I'm sure there's many I missed, so let me know in the comments which food theme level is your favorite. There's so many ways to use food in video games, and it may get used a lot, but I never really get tired of the food in video games, because who doesn't love food? Like, come on. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.